Hey, how are you? Jack, I'm great. How hey, are you? Good to see you. I'm doing good great. To, Thanks. Good to see you as well. Get your kids back in school? Yes, they are ready to go. So you've got a routine again? We do. Good. Yeah, it feels good to get back into it. Good, 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 good. Well, it's great to see you. You too. I got your invites. I heard you wanted to talk about performance. I do want to talk about your performance. Okay. So, and it's going to be a great conversation. So I think you'll be, oh, great. I think you'll be very, okay. very happy. Um, you probably recall we've done this before. Um, I believe we've had one other conversation, mm -hmm. and we, we call this tool High Solid Low Coaching Conversations. Mm -hmm. And what we're um, really hoping to do with these conversations is to take a look at how every individual employee contributes mm -hmm. to the success of a team and also to the success of our network. Sure. So as we're looking at how we can improve organizationally, we're really committed to knowing that each individual needs to be really uh, focused on how he or she can contribute and in, in some cases need, maybe needs some development or needs to um, learn and grow a little bit more. Okay, that sounds like a lot of thoughts gone into this. It, it has, it's, um, it's something we're doing through the whole network. Okay. So every leader is having these conversations with every employee and um, it gives us a chance to really take a look at how each of us lives out the mission and vision and values and the standards of behavior. Okay. So right. we want to make sure that those are in alignment for everyone. Okay. Um, so I hope you don't mind, but I've, I've made some notes here. Okay. So, because you know I'm a note taker. But um, just to confirm, this is not a, a performance appraisal conversation. That's a okay. separate conversation, but um, we'll be having these types of conversations on a regular basis. But um, in order to build a future ready workforce so that we're ready for whatever comes our way in Community Health Network, um, we have to really have high performing teams. Absolutely. And I so completely agree. That, that's our goal. And then uh, to do that, we have to have high performing individuals. So as I look at your contributions mm -hmm. to our team, I would definitely consider you a high performer. Thank you very much. I and appreciate that. You're very that. welcome. You're very welcome. So I'm just really excited about the contributions that you make, and um, you you seem to make everyone around you a better employee. You, people well, rise you. to, to your level of, of um, not only productivity, but behavior. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go through a few things. I wanted to make sure and point out that, that, um, that you contribute. And the first one is, um, just how high you consistently role model our standards of behavior. Okay. So everything on that list is just, you know, I can see it in the way you conduct yourself, um, the way you interact with people. So every one of our, those pride values um, is something that you're, you're role modeling regularly. Um, in terms of being a team player, I see you as being very proactive. So when things come up, you address them in a really timely manner. You're a great problem solver. Thank you. So before things become a huge problem, I've, I've noticed and observed that you address those things in a, in a very uh, uh, proactive sort of way. So please continue to do that. Um, and, and another thing, um, as far as patience first, I, I've observed you and I've heard from other people that you consistently provide the same high level of care to every single patient. Oh, well, thank you. So, and that's definitely our, our number one pride value. In terms of um, connecting the dots, I think you have a really good ability to see where our department fits in and how you contribute to that, and then also how um, the network, uh, you know, pillars and, and all of our directions in the network really come together. So I love to see how you connect the dots with all of those with all of those pieces. Um, and I, I think that I would call you an ambassador for our department. I hear from people outside of our department um, just really accolades and um, how much you role model. Um, I've even heard it from people outside our network. So I want to encourage you to to continue to do that as well. Absolutely. So, wow, I think you're an awesome, awesome performer, and Thank I you. really value what you bring to Thank our team. You. I appreciate that. So it's the truth, and um, I, I'd like to ask your thoughts then on what ways I can support you so that you can continue to keep up this great, great work. Well, sure. You know, I always value our conversations. 
I feel like you keep me in the loop and you explain things to me when I need to know them and in a timely manner. Um, I feel like we always have open lines of communication okay. and I know where I stand with you. Great. So if we can keep doing those things, I think we can stay on the same path. Super. Well, just realize that my door is always open. If you need me, let me know. Shoot me a quick email. If, put some time on my calendar if, if in fact, mm -hmm. it needs to be that formal. But otherwise, you know, I'm always available. So, okay. And I love to have these kinds of conversations. So I, did, I have noticed that you've taken um, advantage of the classes and coursework that yes. we have available. So yes. I would hope that you continue to do that because I think we have a lot of great opportunities in the network. And I want to encourage you to keep growing so that you're ready. Absolutely. I found some great ones. So they've oh, been good. very helpful. Good, good, good. So, well, if I can help you in any other way, please let me know. The door is okay. always open. And again, thank you so much for everything you do for this department and for our patients and for this network. Thank you we, so much. We I, really, really value it. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I better let you get back to work. Okay. Right? So thanks again. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Chris. Hey, how are you? Good morning. I'm great. Good morning. How are you? I'm Have doing, a seat. I'm doing well. Thanks. Thanks for coming in to see me this morning. Well, thank you. I saw on your message you wanted to talk about my performance. Is everything okay? Everything's great. Okay. Yes. Yeah, please don't. Please don't be nervous at okay. all. This is a good conversation <laughs> okay. to have. So. Um, again, thanks for coming in. What what we're doing around the network is having conversations that we call high, solid, low coaching conversations. Okay. You might recall we've we've done these one other yeah, time. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So what we're doing is um, taking a, a good look at all of our contributors mm -hmm. and just assessing how well they're living out the pride values and matching up um, their their, uh, to the standards of behavior and, and role modeling those okay. and really thinking about how we each contribute to our team and to the network on a daily basis. Okay. So that's sort of what the high, solid, low conversations are about. Okay. And actually, they're really about development. Okay. So if we are to achieve our goals in the network of moving our performance along, mm -hmm. it's going to require high performing teams. Sure. And so to have high performing teams, we need high performing individuals. Absolutely. So anywhere that we can develop folks, we want to be able to do that. Okay. So that's, these conversations give us a chance to have just candid, transparent um, dialogue about okay. our performance. Okay. So I think it's a really good thing. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. So again, we're doing it across the network. Mm -hmm. This is not your performance appraisal. Okay. So these are separate conversations. Okay. Um, but um, we just want to make sure that, that people understand that in order to have a future ready workforce, we have to really keep developing our people. Sure. So in, in this process, as I look at your contributions, mm -hmm. I want you to know that you're meeting expectations in, in every way. Okay. In every way possible. So okay. I want to thank you for that. And, well, thank you. And encourage you to contribute uh, in that same level going forward. Um, you do a really great job of managing your daily work, and um, you're a positive team player, and I can always count on you to be flexible and to help no matter what. Oh, well, thanks. I hope you don't mind I look at my notes a little no, bit, no, but no, I don't want to forget anything. So in, in the grand scheme of things, mm -hmm. as I look at your performance, I would consider you a solid performer. So okay. I, I'm really pleased to let you know that. Okay. Seems a little not not comfortable with that. Oh, I mean, it's not that I'm, I'm not comfortable with it. I mean, it, it just sounded like the direction the conversation was going was you thought I was a high performer, so okay. Okay. solid just kind of threw me a little bit. Okay, but. well, in in the organization and where we're mm -hmm. going, our solid performers are the backbone and the heart of the work that we do. Okay. So I want you to really think about that in a little different light. Solid is good. Okay. Solid is great. Okay. Solid is wonderful. We need solid. We want solid. Okay. So please, please understand that. I consider you just an invaluable member of this well, team. Well, thank you. And your contributions. I appreciate that.
Does that does that feel a little bit better? Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. It does. Okay. Um, the high performers are going to be just a pretty small percentage of, of the overall workforce. Oh, just okay. so you know that. So, um, I just wanted to um, point out just a couple of things too that I think um, might be good for you to focus on as far as some developmental opportunities. Okay. Um, not that you aren't already pretty skilled in this area, but I think you could take it to a really great level. Okay. You seem to have a really good uh, knack for solving problems. So what I would like to see you do, and, and how I would like to see you develop that skill, is to get on the front end of those a little bit more. Can you think of ways that, that maybe you might go about um, seeking out opportunities to get, um, get better in that area? You know, I've I've seen that we have classes okay. that we offer. Okay. Uh, I've browsed through the catalog, but um, I'll sign up for a couple of those and see what I can find out. I like I like finding solutions for for things and finding new ways to do what we do. So I'll see what I can find uh, to work on that. Great. That that would be that would be really really helpful. Okay. Um, I think innovation for the work that we do mm -hmm. is is a a real key competency going forward. Okay. So um, let me know what I can do to support you in sure. that. And if what we might want to try to do is um, think about that a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe do a little research as to what's out there that okay. would interest you. And then let's talk again in a week or so about, you know, how I can support you in further expanding that skill. Okay. I'd like to get your opinion on the different classes. So sure. can I bring a list? Is that, that okay? That would be great. Okay. That would be great. Okay. I, I would love to know what what you know direction you think that can go okay that sounds good wonderful so um, I just um, wanted to reaffirm how important you are to this team and how much I value your work and your positive attitude and just the behaviors that you demonstrate on a regular basis so well thank you so thank you so much if there's anything else I can do to support you I, I trust that you'll let me know yeah I my will. door is always I open will. so Okay, well, great. thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks All again right. for your time. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a great day yourself. Take care. You too. Come in. This must be Steve. Hey. Good morning, Steve. Hey, please, what? please have a seat. Yeah. Okay. What's up? Thank you for coming in. Yeah. So you probably noticed from my invite on the calendar that we need to have a conversation about performance. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to know that I'm having these conversations with all employees. The network is having um, coaching conversations oh. so that we can talk with employees about how they contribute to the success of the department, the success of the network overall. So this is a not, not a part of your performance appraisal, but this is a, a tool to help us take a look at yeah. where individuals fall. That sounds fascinating. So what I'm going to need you to do is put your phone away. Thank you. And that's a really good example of some of the things I want to talk with you about today. Okay. As I look at your contributions to the team, I have to evaluate you as a low performer. So what that means for you is that there are some behaviors that need to change and they need to change very quickly. Yeah. Okay. What so, are they? well, the behaviors are again some some of the things you're just demonstrating right now. Um, you come in and your name tag is not where it's supposed to be. Name tags are supposed to be on the right yeah. the well, right shoulder. It ripped my shirt the other day, so I'm not a fan of it up there. Okay, that that very well may be. But it isn't clearly in our standards of behavior, and it's something that we expect every employee to do because it's um, it's a patient's first um, um, satisfier. So it's it's things of that nature yeah. that I'm very concerned about okay. that don't match our standards and they don't match our values. So another example uh, in observing you with some negative behaviors would be you sort of toss the. Um, file across the room the other day when you were frustrated with Karen. Come on. And I heard you mouth and, and kind of talk about her under your breath and That's call her an idiot. It's ridiculous. So, Have you met Karen? I mean, um, seriously, she was just being crazy. So we're not, we're not talking about anyone else's behavior today. We're 
we're just talking about the behaviors that you're demonstrating. So what I'm needing from you is a, a change. And again, I said it needs to be uh, pretty quick. And I, I brought the standards of behavior for you to take a look at. You saw these when we um, first brought you on board uh, about 11 months, I think you've been here now. Yep. So um, I need you to take another look at those. And I, I really want you to uh, think about the way your behaviors are negatively impacting our patient care and our department. Yeah. So when we can't have teamwork on a, t on a department like ours, we can't take good care of our patients. And that's just not acceptable. So these are non-negotiable standards. Okay. So they'll need to be addressed. So I'll need you to put some time on my calendar in a, a week and we'll revisit these, these issues. Are you firing me? No, no, uh, no, I'm not firing you. But I, I do need you to understand that these behaviors have to change and that our expectations are for every employee and that we need to live to these standards. Okay. So, um, and if, if you're not able to do that, then it may be uh, um, necessary for us to have another conversation that's um, maybe uh, more along the lines of you know, what might be a better fit for you than working at Community Health Network. Okay. Okay. Is that it? That's it. You got anything else? That's all I have for you. Oh. Please take that with you. This looks delightful, thanks. Very welcome. Yeah. I'll look forward to meeting with you in a week. Oh, yep. See you then. Thank you.